what is a free radical and what are antioxidants? And I, I know you all have heard those. I know that most of you will buy something that has antioxidants on it, both to eat, drink, put on your face. Think of a mouse with two ears. That's a free radical. The two ears represent two electrons. Um, one of them is gone. One of them is not present. So that creates a, an ordinary healthy molecule with two ears into an evil, vampiric free radical. Now, on their own, free radicals are not particularly evil. In fact, we need some of them in our body. But when they become invasive, they look around for yet another molecule that has the two ears and goes, hey, I got a missing one. I got to grab that one. And they grab it, and, but that doesn't do any good. And instead, it turns that molecule into another free radical. And it just keeps going one after another. And pretty soon, there are a whole gang of them. Now they look around for something bigger to attack. Aha, a skin cell, let's go get that. So they rush like crazy, and within a matter of hours, they can do such damage to the membrane of that healthy skin cell that it starts to degenerate and die and erode or go into trauma. Also, if there happens to be a little bacteria lurking around, normally that's kept at bay by a healthy skin cell or even a virus, they will join the pack. They'll be, hey, you guys, we're another gang over here, but come on, let's go. And then they all attack, and pretty soon you've got problems. So, how to stop a free radical? Well, it's very simple. You just put an army up in front of the uh, skin cell. And the first soldier line of defense would be tosopherols, or vitamin E. That is an antioxidant. And where does the word oxidant come from? Isn't oxygen good for us? Well, yes, in certain degrees it is, if it's delivered by the blood to cells. But a lot of excess oxygen constantly bombarding along with sunlight helps the free radical to even get worse and bigger and more ferocious. So the army has to be strong. So we have our antioxidants, which are also, also anti-free radicals. And they can do many, many chemical conversions to protect the cell. 